Hey everyone, uh, this is Kevin from XL Aquatics. Hopefully everyone is having a great day. Uh, we are here with another video. This is going to be an analytical video uh, submitted by Frank. Uh, so a couple different clips of Frank swimming. We're definitely excited to kind of dive in, no pun intended, um, to a couple of uh, the different things that we've been working on with Frank. Uh, Frank's been a swimmer with Excel, um, I want to say since 2014. Um, he's really come a long way. The videos that we have of him are actually from the tail end of 2018. So some of the things that are in this video he has improved upon since. Um, but again, it would just be great, I think, as a learning tool for anyone who's tuning in, anyone who's watching, uh, to kind of get a visual on some of the technical talking points that we will be going over. So right now, I am going to pull up the video of Frank swimming here. Hang tight one second. All right, here we go. We'll start from the beginning here. Frank is rocking the awesome red Excel cap. Thank you, Frank. All right. So here we go. So we got our side view here. This is our right side. All right. So right off the bat, you can see there's a couple things that Frank does very, very well. Um, so like we talked about in our first video when critiquing myself, actually, um, side view is a great way to look at body line. Okay. Now you can see Frank, all right, his body line is pretty good here, right? His head, starting with his head, goggles, he's got his bright blue goggles. Let's see if I can get a stoppage of it, right? His goggles, he's looking down slightly forward, which is okay, um, down in the water. You can see the water line is splitting his cap about halfway up. Um, that's awesome. That's perfect. That's kind of the nice visual that we like to give our swimmers. Um, halfway down the cap is where we want to be splitting the water. That helps us make sure that our head is down enough in line. Um, again, you can look at his shoulders, his hips, even his feet. All up towards the surface pretty nicely. And what is this, Frank? Frank's got a little kick going. So one of the things that we do also talk about here at Excel quite a lot are... Um, are how to engage our legs, right? We're really, for the most part, particularly from a distance open water swimming standpoint, not looking to have a steady kick all the time, not a strong six beat kick, but enough of a kick to keep the hips in line. So you can see, again, we're talking about the body line with Frank. Uh, that little kick that he's doing, nothing over the top, not a ton of white water behind him, um, but it's doing enough to keep him in line, really keeping him steady. Frank, that is awesome. So keep that up, all right? Um, so the other thing, that we'll touch upon real quick with Frank um, is with the side view again we can kind of see the catch pretty nicely here um, so now while Frank does you can see he is bending his elbow he does have a little bit of an elbow bend we want to try and get that to open up a little bit we want the elbow to be a little bit higher than the hands and then a little bit lower than the shoulder so a little bit of a steeper angle that's going to engage his lats a little bit more all right, so you can see he's pushing a little bit too much straight down, and that's where the bubbles are coming from, as opposed to slicing through, then opening up. All right, slicing through and opening up is what we're looking for here. All right, but again, this is a little outdated video. I know for a fact uh, one of the things that we have worked on with Frank in our Thursday program, uh, shout out to Coach Nikos, definitely does a great job with this, is um, opening up a little bit more. Again, working on that catch, getting his shoulder out of the water, to help set that catch up on the recovering arm. Okay, so next we're gonna go with the left side here. All right, we got Frank again, really good body line. He's got that nice little kick behind him. All right, again, just locking the arm out a little bit too much. You can see even the hand, right, comes a little bit higher than the elbow as he fully extends. That makes it harder and harder to drive the fingertips down and get in that good catch position, okay? But again, body line, small kick. This, this shot, you can really see the goggles, right? Really, really nice. And actually, what I'm going to do real quick, all right, I am gonna open up one video to just kind of compare. All right, when I posted my first video of me swimming, I actually had Frank ask about my body line because I was fairly critical of my own body line. Now you can see, right, see there's much more curvature in my hips, 
right? Then francs. Let me see. I don't know if I can open up both at the same time. Let's give it a shot here, right? So memorize that curvature. And we'll look at Frank. Not nearly as much curve in his back, right? So Frank does a better job than I do in terms of making sure that he's not arching his back. All right, he's keeping his shoulders, hips, and even his feet along with his head in a pretty good steady line. All right, so excellent job, Frank. Definitely loving the body line. And obviously, we want to work a little bit more on opening up on that catch, but still very, very good example here. All right, let's going to switch to the front view here. All right, again, front view, we can take a look a little bit more at our head position as well as the entry. All right, now you can see, right, his hand is still pretty flat even though he's about a foot under the surface of the water, which means he's pushing straight down, okay? So again, you can have your elbow bent and still be pushing straight down. So we really want to make sure that we're driving the fingertips down, creating that angle, creating that arch, all right? Now in terms of the width, of his uh, his stroke here again the nice thing front view his hand is pretty much in line with his goggle on his left hand right hand you can see a little bit of a cross Whoop, video slowing down just a touch a little bit of a cross you can even follow the bubble line there alright so that's what we want to be careful of is that we're not crossing over right, his right hand a little bit too much cross left hand though pretty good job staying outside of his center line Alright, very good. We'll just take a look at our last front view here, see if we missed anything. Alright, Frank's coming in again. Alright, and this one, honestly, looks like the right hand's doing a little bit of a better job staying outside. Alright, because he's pushing straight down, you can see that bubble trail. Alright, so again, driving the fingertips down, opening up a little bit earlier is going to help. But really, really can't get over right, this body line. This is textbook here. So this is what we're looking for um, with most of our swimmers, pretty much all of our swimmers, honestly. Making sure eyes are looking down slightly forward a little bit. You can see the water cutting the red cap line. All right, you can even see his legs putting in a little bit of work behind him. So awesome, awesome job. So that's pretty much it for our first submittal video. Again, anyone who is interested... Um, who has some old videos, it could be old, right? This is from October 2018, could be a video we had just done. Um, but don't be afraid to submit it because not only are we looking to help you as a swimmer, but also anyone who tunes in, right? We can all learn from each other, uh, kind of collaborative education, if you will, and um, really make sure we take advantage of our time away from the pool in terms of honing our skills and educating ourselves. Thank you all for watching. Um, hope you all enjoyed this video, and we're looking forward to doing another one soon. Have a great day.